jackpot is an estimated annuitized $355 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold mega ball. Winning the lottery is something all of us dream of doing, but the dream doesn't always match up to the reality of what takes place after you win. Now, Holly Lottie of Rathdrum, Idaho, bought a ticket for that drawing. She's now entitled to half of that $380 million. Problem here? Well, her estranged husband may now be entitled to half of what Holly won. Now, the couple is legally separated, but not divorced. Should Joshua Lottie get half of Holly Lottie's winnings. Joining me tonight, Prime News legal dream team, litigation attorney Kelly Sandin and criminal defense attorney Drew Finling. You know, this is a problem I'd like to have. Not, well, let me, let me preface that. I don't want to be uh, separated, anything like that. But uh, dealing with how much of my, <laughs> no, the problem I'd like to deal with is how much of my half of 380 million do I get to keep? That's the problem I'd like to have. But here's, here's, here's what we're looking at. This guy allegedly gave her that black eye He's estranged, not a part of her, of her life. He's in and out of uh, prison, getting arrested all the time. Why should this guy get one dime, Kelly? They're legally still married, and Idaho is a community property state. Anything Boo. she acquires during the marriage is half his. It's the truth. I'm sorry. Boo. That's the law. And if he did beat her up, she should have got divorced. Why is she separated? Why didn't she divorce him? It sucks to be her because she won, but she loses. Drew Finling, no equity from Lady Justice on this one? Well, saying, hey, listen, they're not really a husband and wife. They're estranged. They're separated, different lives. He gave her a black eye, my goodness. Well, first of all, it's not so bad to be her right now. Um, but, but here's the deal. <laughs> that's true. Uh, it, it, it is a community property state, and, and technically that's what he's entitled to. If she has any sense whatsoever, Holly, are you listening to me right now? Okay, hire a great lawyer. Tie this thing up in litigation, and if this guy is... Oh, wait the, a minute, you're making a lawyer rich right now. That's what you're doing. <laughs> that's okay. Which is going to okay. cost you more, giving some money to the husband I, or paying your lawyer? Can I give my address so I can get a referral fee here? Um, and, and tie this thing up in litigation. <laughs> Eventually, if this guy is kind of the loser he may be, he'll take something. You know, $10 million, $15 million and go ten away. Million hush money. No take way. That's yeah. giving phone up lines. $90 million. No Let, way. Let's see what the folks He's at home have to say. He's legally entitled to half. Oh, my goodness, Kelly, you're killing me. Anita's in Alabama tonight. <laughs> Anita, how much should Joshua get here? I don't think he should get anything. Um, they're legally separated. They were on their way to divorce, and they just never finished doing it. And with his record, do you think those kids are going to benefit from any of his half of those millions? No, I don't think he should get anything. <laughs> All right, Anita, thanks so much. Hey, Kelly, does that have anything to do with it? The fact that they have children together, does that give him any more or any less rights to what's going on here? The only thing is, if she is the custodial parent, then he's going to have to pay a significant amount of child support from that money to the children. Ooh. But the one question I'd like to pose to the viewer is, if the situation was reversed and he won the lottery... Because they're in the process of being divorced, would she say that mom and wife doesn't get a dime? No, he's a dirtbag, but the law is the law is the law. And while it stinks, she owes him. Anthony in South Carolina tonight, what do you think? Hey, yeah, hey, the lottery is the, the greatest game here on earth besides basketball. But to me, he should receive half of that percentage because he may have good intention of doing great things with it. I'm sorry that she took his money to purchase that ticket and she tried to hide. It's Anthony, do you see the black, the black eye? eye? Do you see your yeah, black eye? And, and yeah. by the way, he didn't chip in for the lottery ticket either, Drew. Come on. I mean, if, he's, if he put up half the money, he gets half of it. But he was, I'm, I'm, I'll guarantee you this, yeah, that I he was not paying child support. He was not paying alimony. He wasn't paying for anything. I think Anthony's getting mixed up between the lottery draft and the lottery <laughs> when it comes to the great games out there. I, listen, my point is this. If she lawyers up and they start getting into litigation and they start bringing up one issue after the other, yeah, technically, is he entitled to half? Yeah. But is he at some point going to throw in the towel? If I were her, lawyer up, bringing up all these things about him? Because if you get 12 people like the, fem the young lady that called us a few minutes ago on that jury, you're just going to have this case tied up forever, and he probably needs the money more than she does. Hey, let's take a look at, at the other co-winners of the $380 million. Now, this couple is the couple that you want to see win the lottery. Take a look. Look at this and look at that. 
She looked and she studied and she looked and she studied and she looked at me and screamed. <laughs> Tears started flowing down and I looked at her and I started crying and I thought, and she, all she could say was, is this real? Yes, it is real. Let's go to a Lori who's in Tennessee tonight. Lori, your thoughts about the lotto winners, this uh, estranged couple and a woman who wins the lottery but gets a black eye. Yeah. Vinny, I just, I, I agree with the um, the lady lawyer that you have on there. Kelly! It all comes, no, I mean, as far as the child support goes. Sure. Because, you know, you know he's he probably has never paid child support for those two children. So it automatically should, whatever he owes for now and in the future, should come out first and then get whatever he's going to get. I have some strategy here, uh, Kelly and Drew. You know what? He, he sues her for the money. She countersues for the uh, battery that she received, uh, that black guy. And then you get some settlement that's much less than it would be otherwise. And you put that in front of the I jury. Think our, I think our last caller's idea was great. The only problem is I think El Kelly will agree with this. Then what do you do with the other $89.9 million after you put that money yeah, aside? Yeah, exactly. Drew and Kelly, great job. But great I to see argue you. that child support is 20... Oh, sorry, Vinny, great to see you. <laughs> You're out of time, counselor. Coming up, a minor league hockey coach...